Well, good morning folks. Welcome to a beautiful day in the Vale of Beaver. Set between Nottingham and Grantham along the A52. This is not the A52, I hate the A52. But that's more or less where we are now. If you trace a finger along from Nottingham towards Grantham, you'll eventually come to a place called Beaver Castle, Belvoir Castle. And we're just near there at the moment, which is where I live. So, let's roll that introduction and I'll tell you where I'm going today. So today we're heading off up to Scarborough and it's somewhere that I've wanted to go for a long time same as most of the places that I go on the bike somewhere else that I've wanted to go for a long time which is uh, Oliver's Mount never been always fancied going to Oliver's Mount so today that's where we're going it's uh, 114 miles from home uh, and I've put a route into TomTom, Tom, so uh, none of those miles are going to be done on motorways, uh, minimal amount on dual carriageways, because uh, I've put in the winding route, and it's going to take us three and a half hours to get there. It's a beautiful day, temperature is 13 degrees already. 13! Even in Scarborough, they reckon the temperature is going to be about 16, but it has got a nice, you know, a warmer feel to it. It does feel like spring is finally here. Anyway, sit back, enjoy the ride. I'll have a chat with you again in a bit and uh, bring you up to date as to where we are. We will be going over the Humber Bridge today. So uh, if I can, if the wind's not too bad, the plan was to stop and fly the drone. So. Uh, We'll see how we get on. See how we get on and uh, yeah, like I say, just enjoy the ride. See you in a bit. Well, I was watching a programme the other night about the police in Lincolnshire. And in Lincoln City, it is the most underfunded force in the country. I thought, I'm not sure whether that's just Lincoln City or whether it's the Lincoln police force as a whole. But, oh Jesus, the shit they were having to put up with. It was during the Euro football finals. Unbelievable. I, I could never work for the police, honestly. I'd last about five minutes because I'd just get sacked. I don't know how. I really don't know how they managed to deal with the people that they deal with. I would taser everybody first and ask questions later. I do have a respect for the police, I've always had a respect for the police, but the, the police in Lincoln, they have got my ultimate respect for their levels of patience and perseverance and professionalism dealing with utter morons like that. Oh, Jesus, I just hat goes off to them, helmet goes off to them. Well done guys and girls, girls and guys. So I'm not going to cause them any more trouble by breaking speed limits or riding like a dick. That was my point. That was my whole point of bringing that conversation up. <laughs> so I had an interesting um, message last night about my Bomber Command video. Um, a chap called Stephen. Hi Stephen. You're right mate. He posted uh, <laughs> he posted on that video saying that um, he lives not far from Bomber Command and he can see it from his garden. Um, but he also said during that uh, during his comment that um, he now owns the Rally Pro that I went out and reviewed from webs of Lincolnshire. <laughs> uh, I thought it was. Uh, I thought like, I've, I've had a conversation with uh, Stephen before, but it was uh, <laughs> to know that someone owns the bike that I've reviewed. That's that's great. He says he loves it as well, and it is. A, it's a stunning bike. I absolutely loved that bike when I rode it. I sometimes wish that I'd had that instead of this, but you know, 
you pays your money you takes your choice don't you i just thought that the the spec levels were better on this as i've said before i just thought the spec levels were a bit higher um and also as well if if something's got tech on it then you know i'm a sucker i'm a i'm a bloke aren't i if something's got some tech on it then i want it basically um there was one or two other things about the triumph which i was a, a, a bit disappointed in i i mean the clock layout is okay as such i suppose but that rev counter is just pointless such a pointless stupid thing that is um, and yet they can as the new speed triple r demonstrates they can create a beautiful dashboard you know that is that dashboard on that on that new speed triple with a little fairing it's just a stunning piece of work that is i love that one and and why they couldn't have done something better on the rally pro and the gt pro i well the whole of that range basically i i don't know I, oh i've never been over this bridge look at that look at that view that way wowzer never been to this bit before you can see it obviously from over there because I live over that direction somewhere but um, I've never been up here it's a cracking view isn't it cracking I do like it when your sat nav takes you on routes that you've never been on before right let's get on with it otherwise we're not gonna get there Curtaining Lindsay. That's where we've got to.
excellent. Cool. Let's get some photos. You can see why people enjoy the race in here. It's so close. You would be so close to it. Quite a narrow race track. Riding at race speeds around this. Jesus. Look there now. on the first bend. This is not a track for the faint-hearted, is it? Is the cafe open? Looks like it. Any cars parked everywhere? on the right side at Rodolf. Never been a racer. We go back down to the start finish line. Awesome. Awesome.
Right, so that's it then. That's Oliver's Mount kind of done. That was good, I enjoyed that. Trip round the top, had my lunch at the monument at the top. I've put a route in, I'm heading more or less straight back to Lincoln. degrees so it is a degree down on what they said it was going to be but you know it is quite overcast now well, I did enjoy that actually somewhere I've wanted to go for quite a long time eventually made it so I'm going to start the trek home now folks um, hope you enjoyed that little ride out up to uh, Oliver's Mount like I say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave me a like below. If you're not subscribed already, really appreciate it. If you gave me a subscribe as well. So yeah, thanks for coming with me. I've been Jack Porter. This has been the Motor Mogul Channel. I'll see you again in the future, guys. See you soon. Cheers now. Thank you.